Welcome to Dr. Piercy's An Introduction to Java Servlets, the Servlet Component Model. In this video, we'll review the components of an MVC-based web application. You'll understand how Java servlets fit into this structure, and you'll learn some important terms related to servlets. In this diagram, we see the MVC component model for web applications. On the client side, we need technologies to handle the concerns of structure, style, and behavior. The client side would be something that would appear in your web browser. So, HTML could be used for structure, CSS for style, and JavaScript for behavior. Generally, something will happen on the client side that will cause a request to be sent to a server. On the server side, we have the web server, which will handle the traffic coming in and determine what to do. Our application components that we'll aspire to will follow the MVC design pattern. MVC stands for Model, View, and Controller. The controller's concern is to get the request and decide what needs to be accomplished. Then it will use components in the model to get the job done. And once the controller is done with its work, it will pass implementation on to the view. And the view is responsible for putting all the processed information together with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create a response to send back to the client. The model will hold helper components that can be used by both the controller and the view. Since we're working in the Java world, we'll use a servlet as a controller, and that's the subject of this video. We'll use plain old Java objects for the model and our views will be accomplished using a JSP. Many applications also need to connect to a database, in which case they'll make requests to a data server and then they'll receive the results back to be incorporated into the response. In this video, our topic is the Java servlet. A servlet is a Java-based server-side web technology. It is actually a special Java class in the Java Enterprise Edition that can respond to requests. As we saw in the diagram, servlets are generally used as the controller component in an MVC application, but they can be used to generate a view if desired. So in our quest to learn the MVC design pattern as implemented in Java, we are currently going to concentrate on the servlet and we're going to let our servlet handle both the controller and the view. So in the servlet component model, the request will come in from the client and the servlet will get the request and handle that as the controller. It will use any classes as needed and then when all the information is processed, the servlet will create the view and send back the response. Keep in mind that this is for learning the servlet only. Our ultimate goal is the MVC design pattern. When a request comes in, the web server will immediately create two objects. First, the request object will be created to hold information that pertains to the request. This can include any user-supplied data that is sent over from the client, perhaps from an HTML form. The server will also create a response object. The response object is created in order to hold any information pertaining to the response. This can include any HTML, CSS, or JavaScript that we wish to send back to the client for implementation there. So while things are going on on the server side, both the request and response objects are available for our servlet to use. But unlike with JSPs, they need to be instantiated. We'll see in Eclipse that they're instantiated for us when we generate the servlet file. One thing we also have to remember is that there is no persistence. This means that the server does not remember our request and response once the response head back, heads back to the client. A new set of request and response objects will be created with each new request and discarded with each response. As mentioned, response and request objects are available for us to use within servlet code. For example, the client may send along some data stored under the variable name text name. We might use the request object and call its get parameter method to get this value and then store it as a local variable in our servlet.
For more information about the concepts that you've seen in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. The background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy production.